Why, hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Elden Ring and Side Quest. It is I, Mini Sauron. I think it's the helmet. I think that's what's kind of giving the vibe. I'm trying on the armor of the knight, the knight's armor set, like, but not knight like knight, the like armor of knight. You know, you get it, whatever. So, we're trying that out. I'm thinking it's going to work slightly better than the bear theme in this location. Anyway, speaking of this location, though, we might, we weirdly might actually kind of be done down here. Because I like, I'm still, there is the possibility that there is something around here that I can use to get me up on top to these areas up here. Or it might be that the only way to get to that area is by going through this keep and then taking the long bridge. Which makes sense, it does kind of seem like the keep here is the gateway to the rest of these areas. I've also not figured out how to get down here. Or to any of this. Or to any of this, I'm still baffled by a few things, but... I figure let's ride around just a little bit. Uh, along these walls, just to see if there's anything else I've missed out here. And if not, that's fine. We will return topside and I guess go knock on the front door. It might be time to do that. I've been putting it off a while. But first, let's just kind of check this wall here. Run along the wall. See if there's any caves or... Things which are better than scorpions. And I'm setting the bar pretty low here. Just to increase our odds of success. Anything better than flying spider scorpions. That shoot poison. I'm accepting all volunteers who think they can meet those really, really lenient criteria. I'm not asking for much. Blood pests need not apply. Sorry, y'all. You. I think you know why. Yes, rejecting all of my bear lessons. Exactly. Here we go. Here's something. Wait, right. This is the same something. And I got you already. I'm kind of surprised that one respawned. Oh, I guess it's just regular drops. Eh, whatever. Hmm. It is entirely possible that I'm missing something obvious here. And I don't think I went through this little path, at least, so let's see this. It's really just some ghosts and boars. But we had to check. And honestly, they do meet my criteria. Y'all pass. Ghosts and boars in the little ravine. You are our winner. You're not really what I was looking for, but as far as things I could find in this little search go, I'll take it. And we've seen all this as well. Yeah, we really might just be done down here. This might all have been just a very large and pretty optional detour. I guess most of the entire DLC and game is in fact optional if you think about it, but you know what I mean. Okay. 
And nothing much back here either that I didn't already see. Yeah. No, I think we're done. All right, cool. Let's go back topside. I guess we're going to the keep today. I'm excited slash nervous. And a little surprised you're here and not murdering somebody. What? You're not doing anything new, are you? Leta? Have you calmed down? I will follow the horn sense. No. Okay. The well. The black. Oh boy. Before we go fighting, actually, I got a few new spells, or like I've had several of these new spells equipped for a while and not really had an occasion to use them. Let's just see what they look like. And then I'll decide if I actually want to try using them in combat. There's golden arcs. Which like kind of like flings a few of them. Kind of where you're aiming. Kind of cool. Uh, can that one charge? Eh, sort of. Multi-layered ring of light. Ooh. All right, that one doesn't come back, but... Mega Frisbee. And kind of expensive. Knight's Lightning Spear? Ooh, also cool. A little expensive. I'll hang on to that, though. Like, I don't think any of those are going to stay in my regular loadout, but... I could see the Lightning one possibly coming back in for the right fight. Okay. It is time. We're going in there. We're trying. The furnace golems can wait. There's two of them I've not fought yet. We can come back to them another time. We haven't really explored the camp yet, though. Okay. I would switch to the claws here, but these guys are going to poise right through that. I wonder how they handle the axes. The more armored ones. No, you don't need to do that. You can stay. You just stay over there, please. We will do battle another time. You and I. Yeah, I imagine the smaller Mesmer soldiers will get plenty bullied by these axes, but I do wonder if the Black Knights are going to poise through it. Worth testing. Yeah. No one here. I don't think it's working. I'm beginning to fear we might have been noticed. By the very big on fire golem. Oh, you do this move as well. Grand. I think we're going to have to expedite this little, um, camp exploration a little bit. This does lead me to think that there might not be actually a lot in these, though. Given a lot of these tents are for getting obliterated in the fight. We can have a quick little look around, though. So long as we're ready to move. Yeah, 
And it doesn't seem to be chasing us up here, so I think we can... I think we can explore a little more safely. Most of these don't even have entrances, though, so... Might just be more battlefield set dressing than stuff to uh, actually explore. These are good axes, man. Ow, uh, hey. I didn't know we were sniping. Yikes. Moment of truth. Oh, nope. Not the moment of truth that I thought. Okay. Yeah, I think you're going to poise through all this a lot. That worries me. I came prepared for this. It is okay. And you guys... You guys... Yeah. There we go. Taking a bit more punishment than I should, but that's all right. Stop it. There's so much exploring I could be doing right now, you guys. You. Ow. Don't shout so loud, it hurts my ears. That's so close. Look how little... Well, you can't see it anymore. You were like at three health. Shenanigans. Not the best weapon for fighting that bunch specifically, I suppose. Boy, what an imposing place. And really, there's a lot of the outside kind of surrounding this camp that I've also not really looked at yet. But from the sound of things, I don't really need to worry about where I go exploring and traveling and looking around now in terms of, like, moving NPC quests forward prematurely or anything. Uh, I can certainly still break NPC quests or mess them up or miss stuff, but it sounds like I don't have to worry about doing so just by riding too far in a direction. So that's good. It's very hard to see right now, guys. And this lantern's not really doing enough to fix it. Where are those runes? There they are. Oh, and there's something in there. I saw a shiny. Alas, we must stop. No. Even this far in with this many shadow tree upgrades, you really can't take your eyes off these guys. They're, they will still get you. If you give him an opening. Kind of seems like the mark of a good enemy. One that does get easier as you get stronger, but like 
remains a threat. Never becomes fully trivial or safe to ignore or just go on autopilot when fighting. Yeah, there's a lot more to this camp. And many dudes. Many dudes. And you, come on. I see a shiny. And I want it. There we go. Thank goodness for guard counters. Ooh, that's a new toy. Golden Vow. We've got several new things. I'll read more of them later. But, uh, remains that turned into light after being blessed with an incantation of the Ur Tree. A craftable item. Uses FP to rise into the air, increasing attack and defense of caster and nearby allies. The incantation serves as a rite that honors the comrades who placed their faith in the distant Erd Tree and gave their lives in the Crusade. There's like an interesting... Uh, they're leaning further into like... Consumables that kind of work like spells and consume FP. In this one. There were some in the base game as well. And maybe there are more than I remembered just because I would like barely ever used them. Maybe never used them, but, uh... I feel like they're adding a lot more this time. Finally, the sun's up. I feel fairly certain I'm missing a chest or two or three, but I don't feel like meticulously checking every single one of those tents. Not been up here yet, though. And there's definitely going to be, like, a chest or something up here. That was just someone's message, yeah? Yeah, okay. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneaking. Sneaking. Successful sneaks. Still a sturdy one, though. Don't do that sort of thing. Hey, thanks for the toy, though. More good things to read. In a minute, once I've checked. To see if there are any other robables. Okay. I think we're done up here. Let's move further in. There's got to be a grace fire near the entrance to the keep itself. What a huge camp. I've also not been up there yet. I don't think. Is there a grace fire up here just as a... Easier place to... Retreat to and start from? Hello? It's very dark. 
But that was with the light on? Oh, there we go. Still very dark. Uh, but I'm not quite ready to go up there yet. Very shortly, yes. But as soon as I go up there, it's going to be interesting and pretty, and I'm not going to want to come back down here. And who knows what I'm missing. Definitely should go up there, too. I want, like, I could see there possibly being a cross still up there, maybe. Not seeing one, but... Whew. An old broken one. Furnace Keeper's Note. This, I wish to read. I've got a lot to read, and I feel relatively safe in here. A note left, presumably, by a furnace keeper, containing admonitions regarding the furnace's proper use. Keep fire pots well clear when the golem's furnace is ablaze, and never let me catch you with pots that produce flaming whirlwinds, for goodness sake. Ah, so if I hadn't already figured out that shooting hoops was the answer, this would have been the clue. Uh, Black Knight Gauntlets. We've read basically that before. Black Steel Twin Blade, though. Weapon of the Black Knights, Servants of Mesmer the Impaler. Twin Blade of Black Steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an Erd Tree incantation, further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power, like my hammer. Spinning Slash is its skill. And then there's the Battlefield Priest's Cookbook for making golden vows. A record of crafting techniques left by the devout battlefield priests. These keepers of the faith fought bitterly to spread their gospel in the realm of shadow, where there was no Erd tree to gaze upon. Drawstring mesmerfire grease. A new thing we can make. Well, actually, maybe we can't make it yet, but we've got one now. Solidified knot grease made from a mixture of incendiary materials. Quickly coats an armament, adding heavy fire damage to attacks, but with a brief effect, owing to its small size. Fire was a symbol of the crusade, and even Mesmer's rank-and-file soldiers would wield it. And Mesmer Soldier's Axe. A weapon used by soldiers who served Mesmer the Impaler. A steel axe worn from use. A favorite of those who lost themselves utterly in their lord's war. Capable of performing powerful charge attacks. There. All caught up. What are the stat requirements on that, um... This? Eh, doable. I'm feeling pretty comfy with my kit right now, though. I've seen twin blades before. And used them. But I feel like we got a lot of very good weapons competing for the spotlight right now. So one of them's gotta seem pretty special or have a pretty good gimmick. If it's going to earn a space. In my armory. Is this anything? I think no. No. It is not. The furnace golem design really is so cool. What was that sound? No, oh, probably just a guy doing a shout. Let's see the rest of this camp up here so we can go inside. Oh, this is where the perfumers hang. Let's serve up some bunks. Goodness, you certainly got yourself a nice shield, didn't you? Very effective. 
And your shield's gone. Great. Perfumer gloves. Howdy. And a perfumer hood. Just a whole cosplay kit they're giving us here. Not that it really suits my style or stats or anything, but what the... No, oh, someone's shooting at me, I guess. Whatever, what do we got up here? There's got to be at least something. Some new item worth grabbing up here. Maybe another perfumer bottle. Now. Ouchies. Some strong fire y'all got. There we go. And... Now surely that's not all. Well, maybe. This really seems like where you'd find... another cool toy, though. Okay... If you're sure. All right. I've had quite enough puttering around out here in boring old mesmer camps. Big castle. I want to see. It's so dark. Here we go. Shadow Keep. Yeah, let's go. I'm excited. Should I be anxious as well? Sure, but I'm too excited. Plenty of time to learn anxiety. Definitely very smoky in here, and also I see summon signs, so... Boss fight coming up, I guess. Goody. Uh, oh, hey. Well, let's go ahead and get this while we can. Oh, right. Arcane. Almost forgot. Well, who's here? We got Freya, who's been making a lot of big promises down there in the fields. And we got the horn scent. We should definitely summon you. I'll feel safer knowing you're somewhere I can see you without, like, knowing you're nearby me and that I can maybe spot Leta before Leta does something stupid. Normally I'd go in and do the fight first myself, but these are both key NPCs. Y'all get in here. Come on. The fact that they're giving us two suggests to me this is going to be a brawl. And probably a mean one. All right, you two, I hope you're up to the task. Because I don't guarantee that I am. Golden Hippopotamus. This is not what I expected at all. But look at it. This is not at all the boss fight I expected in here. 
But I'm okay with it. Uh, what happened even? Not really sure what your weaknesses are. That does pretty good, honestly. Yeah, like nearly 3,000 damage. Nice. Yes. Bonk. Big bonk. What? Oh, boy, you're a porcupine now? What? Are you kidding me? You're the weirdest combination of things I've ever seen. Ow. That really hurts. I was gonna keep doing this. It is kind of working. Yeah, the damage numbers it's doing are considerable. Really appreciating the distraction my companions are giving. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, thank goodness that stunned it, because I think it otherwise would have hit me. So glad I survived that. I really didn't expect to. What a bizarre boss. I love it. Wear down, guys. We almost got it. This big belly flopping thing. Finish it. Almost. Uh oh. There you go. Yeah, go team. Aspect of the Crucible Thorns. Oh, that's cool. And another fragment array. First try. Hey. No one's more surprised than me. Feels good. Aspect of the crucible that manifested in golden hippopotami creates a bristling mass of thorn-like fur on the caster's back before scouring the area by rolling around on the ground. Charging increases number of rolls and range of attack. In an age long past before this land was enshrouded in shadow, the vitality of the Crucible flourished. Remains of this can be seen in the ancient ruins. Neat. Anything new on this? Gloves of an Erd Tree Capital Perfumer. In times past, the role of Perfumer was much respected, a blessed apothecary in the eyes of many. But after entering the battlefields of the Shattering, they performed no such role, trading their aromatics for poisons and explosives. I think we've seen similar descriptions on other Perfumer gear before. Yeah. What a boss, though. Now, if I rest here, are any of y'all going to pop up? Yes. Grow strong. Not quite enough for that, though. Hmm. Well... We got one way forward. Not seeing any of the companions, though. Couldn't be bothered to wait up. And I get it. I'm excited to see more castle as well. And... Yeah. I kinda figured. I think we pretty much got one route forward here. Are they sure we're a fan of impaling around here, huh? Got 
Gotta hand it to him. Mesmer picked a theme. What's up, ghost? No, such a thing is utterly inconceivable. We have not been abandoned. Mesmer is the son of Queen Marika. Her grace would never abandon her own flesh and blood. Tough times in the Black Keep? Morale not at its best? Okay. I am noting a fire spear. Really should have gone for those two while I had the chance. That's okay. Hey, Daydreamer. Your companions. Whatever. Eh. Don't act like you can't hear me. Just trying to hit you without falling off a cliff. Like that. See, that's why I'm careful. Whoa. Good sneak attack idea, though. I'll give you points for the idea. Execution could use work. Hello. Got a little baby herd tree in here. Neat. Yeah. Oh, good. I have not yet been observed. Huzzah. Let's take care of you. And then you. Yeah. Get out of here. Main gauche. What? A dagger with a large handguard, intended to be used in the left hand, thereby complementing a piercing sword or identical blade held in the right to enable a distinctive style of fighting. A parrying dagger, cool. Have we not had a parrying dagger yet? An Elden Ring? Surely. Surely we've had a parrying dagger. That's been a thing in Souls games for so long. Surely they didn't wait till DLC. <laughs> No, there have to be... There have to be multiples I'm forgetting. I kind of want to jump out here, but then I can't get back. Let's go this way first. Oh boy, there's a lot of you. Too many of these here dudes. Ah, really thought that attack was gonna land. That's fine. Ooh, I wanna get in there. Whoa. Quite the little tag team you two have here.
Clever setup. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that too. Get out of here. Thanks for the armor. Don't shoot that indoors, man. There's a dining room. That's right. Anyway. Ooh, this is gonna be a big place. Gonna take a bit to explore all this thoroughly, I think. Pretty spacious out here. Hmm. I'm a little worried about what might be able to attack me in a place this big. Oh. You are considerably smaller than I... <laughs> was expecting. I don't really know if that's an intentional bait and switch on my expectations, but if so, gotta give full points to the designers for creating a space that makes me think, oop, big threat coming up. <laughs> and then from out behind the little things come the tiniest little guys. It's pretty good. I'm missing you. There. These are really cool, though. They kind of evoke funerary rites, even though nothing else about the rest of the space does. You can almost see... Yeah, this really does look like the uh, silhouette of a human form, though. Like the legs down here. So maybe it is. Um... Future problem. Uh, oh, I bet that's the way back. That's the way back to the entrance. We should go there first. I saw the summon sign in a minute. I don't think I'll need the summon for fighting these three down here, probably. Squish. Knock it off. What are you guys doing in here? Open. Yeah. Here we go. How are we doing on healing items? Kind of okay. Yeah, I may not actually rest. But I will call it an episode. We'll continue exploring this very big place next time. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for more of the very, very, very big castle. A goodbye!